Hey guys, it's Elaine, the Ninja Life Coach, and welcome to my channel today. Today is Motivational Monday, and we're going to talk a little bit about strengths and weaknesses. So sit back, grab yourselves a cup of coffee. I'll be right back. Hey everybody, I'm back. Everybody has strengths, and everybody has weaknesses. Whether we want to believe that there are areas of our life that we're weak or not, we have those areas. Sometimes it's equally as difficult to admit that we have certain strengths. Sometimes we just don't see those things in ourselves that others do see. So today I want to talk a little bit about that. Now I want to say right up front, a lot of times in our strengths, the very thing that makes us strong that is our biggest strength can also be our biggest weakness. So a lot of times they are two sides of the same coin or two horns on the same goat, as they said in the movie The Help, which I just think that saying is hilarious. So I thought I'd throw that out here for you guys today. But the first thing about finding your strength is to accept that you have them. Accept that you have strengths and accept that you have weaknesses. That can be difficult to do sometimes. We tend to either see ourselves as either too perfect or not perfect enough. We judge other people by their actions, but we judge ourselves by our intentions. So let that sink into you for a moment. Acknowledge that you have those strengths. Acknowledge that God has placed certain gifts and callings inside your life that are unique to you. Now certainly others will have some of the same similar gifts that you have, but no one can execute those gifts like you can. You have a unique personality that can execute your strengths and your weaknesses unlike any other. So acceptance is the very first, first step. Accept that you have them. The second step is to, after you accept that you have strengths and weaknesses, you have to figure out where they are. And that can sometimes be a journey because we don't oftentimes see our own strengths and our own weaknesses. What is a very good exercise to do is to sit down and write down your strengths on one, in one column, make a list of your weaknesses in the other column, then call three of your friends. Ask them to give you a list of your three strengths and three weaknesses. A lot of times, what you think your strengths and weaknesses are may not be the same thing that others see in you. And that's a really good exercise for you to really hone in on, well, what exactly are my strengths? You know, am I strong in this area and I didn't realize it? Or, you know, maybe this is an area of weakness that I need to work on. And at the end of this uh, video, I'll give you a couple of examples of that. The third thing that you can do is once you find them, figure out what they are and you're comfortable with them, how can you use them? What can you do to take those things that God has placed in your life for you to use? Those are tools for you to use to help others. How can you use them? Maybe it's going to be as simple as going, maybe you're good with kids. Maybe it could be as simple as, you know, taking care of, of someone's kids while they have a date night. Maybe it could be something, you know, like volunteering at your nursery, in your church. Maybe it could be something even more, you know, radical, like going to get a job at a daycare and let that be your life's calling. It, whatever it is, Ask yourself the question, how can I use these things that make me unique? How can I use those today to help others? The fourth thing is to, once you've figured out how you can do that, formulate that plan. Sit down, write it down. You know how big I am on writing things down on paper, putting it on your tablet, writing it in your phone. Do something, but formulate that plan and stick to it. Whatever your plan is, Make that your goal. Just say, okay, this is my plan. I'm going to do this. I'm going to, the first step is going to be to maybe look in the paper to see if there are any um, jobs available at the local daycare. Let me look, let that, let that be my first step. Just look and see. Let me, let me see what type of education I would have to have to work with children. You know, using the example that we used before of maybe you're gifted to work with children. But at any rate, formulate that plan work the plan, and stick 
to it. A lot of times when obstacle, obstacles come, we just have a tendency to abandon the plan. But don't ab abandon that plan. If that's a plan that you know God has given you, don't give up on it. Just keep moving forward with it. And then after you formulate the plan, like I said, execute it. Execute your plan. Move forward. Do it. Take the first small step, whatever that is, and God will show you what that is. Take the step and move forward with it. Now, back to some of the things that, that we can do that can stop us. When you ask your friends what your biggest strengths and weaknesses are, be sure when you ask that question to ask people that you trust. Don't just go ask any friend. Pray about the friends that you want to ask this question. Because sometimes when we can ask friends who we don't need to bring into our confidence, that can really, they can really be a Debbie Downer in our life. So don't ask those friends. The way I mean that your strengths can be your biggest weakness is this. One of my biggest strengths is encouragement. I encourage people to move forward. That's what coaches do. We encourage you. I, I consider myself to be kind of like a grief assassin and an encouragement warrior when you're in a transitional phase. I can encourage you. I can walk alongside you because I want you to be successful. That is my goal. That's what life coaches do. We want people to be successful in reaching their goal. Well, there's a flip side to that coin. Sometimes people need to stop and regroup and redirect their goal. Now, coaches know when, if they're paying attention, to tell people to do that. But in our zeal to be encouraging and to help people, sometimes we got to be careful that we're not encouraging people down the wrong path or towards something that God has not ordained for them in their life. And that's the flip side of that. So I want you to think about that too. As you write down your strengths, probably somewhere in that, those strengths, there's going to be a weakness. So don't get discouraged by that. I just wanted to let you know that because oftentimes they go hand in hand. You guys be encouraged today. When you get an opportunity, check out my website. I'll drop a link to everything down in the description box below. I've got a website, I've got an Amazon store, and I've got several other little things going on. And I actually have a new project that I'm going to launch hopefully next week. I've about got everything going and I'm real excited about this. I think that you all are going to be too. So you guys have a great day. God bless. Maranatha.